overflows. Who has more pleasure in sex, the man or a woman? This is the fundamental question in the minds of each man and a woman. It is a different matter whether you ask or not. And who can answer this question? Either one who has lived both as a man and as a woman, who has lived life out of awareness, or an enlightened one. In almost all the cultures of the world, there is a mention of gods and goddesses who have depicted male-female relations very beautifully. In India, it is depicted by the image and concept of Ard Nari Shur. Ard means half, Nari means women, female, Ishwar means God. Both Shiva and his concept Devi have dissolved into one another and out of such union emerged the image of Ard Nari Shur. This depicts the ultimate flowering or union of male-female way of relating when two have merged into one another. There is nothing beyond this. Ardha Narishwar implies you are half masculine and half feminine. This is not biologically, but sometimes if you are very feminine, certain changes begins to take place. You are, your one half of energy becomes masculine while the other half remains feminine. Thereafter, whatever takes place between them as husband and wife is there is no loss of energy. Instead, energy is conserved and it attains multiple quantum. First, I will explain this question according to Greek mythology. Then we'll explain according to Mahabharat. The question, a question of such nature cannot be explained at the level of the mind. Only one who has transcended mind and lives through consciousness can answer. In Greek mythology, there is a mention of Tereusis. Tereusis was a blind prophet of Apollo in Thebes, an ancient city in Egypt. He was famous for, for his clairvoyance and for being transformed into a woman and remained as a woman for seven years. He was the son of a shepherd Everest and nymph Charios, Charisio. Tiresias participated fully in seven generations in the ancient Egypt city of Thebes, beginning as advisor to Cadmus. Tiresias was wandering once in the forest during his youth, and he saw a pair of snakes copulating. Using his stick, he separated them, and when they were copulating, immediately he was transformed into a woman by goddess Hera. On Mount Selene, as Tirus Tiresias, came upon a pair of copulating snakes. He hid the pair with his stick. Hera, the goddess of love, marriage, woman, and family, and the protector of women during childhood, according to Greek mythology, was displeased with the act of Tiresias, and she punished him by transforming him into a woman. 
One of the defining characteristics of Hera in Greek mythology is her jealous and vengeful nature in dealing with anyone who offended her, specifically Jews, who was her husband and according to Greek mythology, the god of god of sky, rain, thunder, lightning. And she was jealous and often jealous specifically of Jewish numerous adulterous lovers and illegitimate offsprings. As a woman, Teresios became a priestess of Hera, married and had children who had possessed the gift of prophecy. After seven years as a woman, Teresios again found mating snakes depending on the mythology. Either she made sure to leave them aside this time or according to the others, he trampled on them. Either way, as a result of this, Teresius was released from the sentence of sentence or the curse of being a woman and permitted to regain his masculinity. This ancient story was recorded in lost lines of Tishlot in Hellenistic and Roman times, Tirosios, sex change was embellished and expanded into seven episodes. Tirosios is presented as a complexity, complexly liminal figure, meditating between mediating between humankind and gods, a balance between gods and humankind, between male and female. Psychologically, he had both natures, feminine and masculine, that of gods and humankind. Blind, he was blind yet seen. That is why it is a unique character, present and future, this world and the other world. He is presented as a complexly liminal figure mediating between gods and humankind, male and female, blind and seen. He was blind, yet he was capable of seeing. He was in the present moment, was capable of seeing in the future, this world and the other world. According to some sources, Tiresias was originally a woman who promised Apollo her favors in exchange for musical lessons, only to reject him afterwards. She was turned by Apollo into a man, then again a woman, under unclear circumstances, then a man by offended Hera, then into a woman by Jewish, the god of thunder, lightning. She became a man again after encountering with the muses until finally he was turned into a woman again and then into a mouse. According to mythographic compendium, different stories were told of the cause of his blindness, the most direct being that he simply he was simply blinded by the gods for revealing their secrets. An alternate story is says that he saw the 
Tiresias was blinded by Athena after he stumbled upon stumbled onto her while she was bathing naked. Then her then Tiresias' mother, a nymph of Athena, begged Athena to undo the curse, but goddess could not. Instead, she cleansed his ears, giving him the ability to understand the bird's song. Thus the gift of augury was granted onto Tiresias. In a separate episode, it is mentioned Tiresias was drawn into an argument when there was an argument erupted between the Zeus, the god of thunder, lightning, and goddess Hera. And the theme was who has more pleasure, who has more pleasure in sex, the man or a woman. Hera claimed that it is the man who has more pleasure. Jewish claimed her husband that it is the woman. As Tirosius has experienced both, Tirosius replied, a man enjoys only one-tenth the pleasure during the act and the woman enjoys nine parts, nine-tenth of the pleasure. Hira instantly, she did not like this, instantly she stuck him blind for his impiety whatsoever Tirasios told based on his experience that was the nature of Hera as depicted in Greek mythology. Jewish could not do could do nothing to stop her or reverse the curse but in recompense he did give Tirasios the gift of foresight and life span of seven lives. He is said to have understood the language of birds and could di could divine the f could know the future from the indications in a fire or a smoke. However, it was the communication of the dead he relied on the on the most, menacing them when they were late to attend him. Tirosius died after drinking water from a tainted spring where he was impelled by an arrow of Apollo. His shades descended and the first level of thing and the story continues. After his death, he was visited in the underworld by, Od by Odysseus and often gave him the valuable advice concerning the rest of the Odyssey. Thus, his name is used and depicted in many of these scriptures, many of these books, and thus goes the story of Tirosios who said the man enjoys one-tenth while the woman enjoys nine-tenth. This was according to Greek mythology. Now a similar question was asked in Mahabharat by Yudhishthir from Bhishma. So that will take in tomorrow's session. Enough for now. Mm -hmm.